Right, UFC 300. There's a lot of rumours floating around, but this one's fresh off the press. Now, Masvidal posted this, which got everyone all excited, speculating who he could face. Masvidal fighting Gagey for the BMF bout was a lot of people's guess. I don't think Sesame Street Jesus wants any of that work, even after his little steroid holiday. I can't see Dana wanting Masvidal to potentially win back the BMF bout, however silly it is, when he's only going to then retire again. It's not like he ever defended it when he had it anyway, which is handy really, as he would have lost it every single time. Plus, the word is that Islam versus Gagey is a done deal, so that discounts him anyway. Another fun one that's been circulating is Masvidal versus Ben Askren, the rematch. Now, this one does make a lot more sense to me. Whilst the first fight couldn't have gone any better for Jorge, making a rematch super unnecessary. Askren has been off for a while now with absolutely no intention of fighting ever again, so won't have been training seriously at all. I can now see how Jorge would consider it to be a safe bet and an easy payday. Here's Ben expressing how keen he'd be for the rematch. Listen, it's like okay, I will make a same around. If, if Dana called me and said, Ben, George Miles with all UFC 300, international, I don't give a damn. I'm out of retirement, I'll fight him, I don't care. As much as Dana doesn't like Ben, it would be a one and done deal, and they're both Biofskis after, so why not just make some quick easy cheddar? I personally would love to see Ben get the chance of redemption after that epic loss. That also marked the start of Masvidal's overhyped Gucci Scarface era, which was a truly terrible time. And there was also talk of Jorge coming back and fighting Leon for the belt. Yes, they had previous beef, but that one's just a little bit too ridiculous. Not only is Masvidal coming off losses and been away for a while, but you've got Bilal and Shavkat firmly in place for the next couple of title shots. But one that I haven't seen on the socials, but makes a lot more sense, is Jorge Masvidal versus Nick Diaz. I know, I know, but think about it. Nick wants one more last big payday. Jorge is in pretty much the same position. Nick gets to avenge his brother after Nate's loss to Masvidal in the original BMF fight. If you remember, at the time, Nick was talking shit about it back then. Put this fight together, because all I see is dollar signs right now. It's not on me. You want to talk about baptizing my younger brother? That's on you. I never had nothing disrespectful to say, but like you don't you don't talk about baptizing me on the brother. So you're already in a f position if you fight with me. Here's Dana talking about a mega fight that's just popped up. Is there any other like super fights that you could see happening over the next like two years or year? There like is. We're talking about one right now, actually, that just popped up a few days ago. So I can't talk about it, but you know, till we get involved. Is it involved with McGregor yes. at all? Um, well, e every fight that you would consider a super fight would, would involve McGregor, but this one isn't, no. And it's around the same time that Masvidal announces he's unretired. Who else, other than Connor, would Dana consider a super fight that would realistically be coming back? Masvidal. Or even better, Masvidal and a Diaz. And I think Masvidal would consider it a safe win against a legend. I think Nick would be more than up for it. Whilst it wouldn't be competitive and a bit of a circus show at this point, one thing we know is that Dana loves gimmick fights. Anyway, if you like this video, give us a sub, check out this playlist of recent bangers, and I'll see you next time.